Welcome back to Simright Fashion Academy YouTube channel for another interesting tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to sew a bubu kaftan with yoke on the neckline and on the sleeve line. So the yoke is embellished. If you look at the original, you can see we have a lot of embellishments. But I don't have enough applique right here for the embellishment, so I used what I have. So you can go ahead and embellish exactly the way you see it right there on the thumbnail, as you can see. So this is a cow kaftan with a yoke attached to it. So you can just tuck it in like that and you can see what I have. So this is the yoke at the back and this is the applique at the back as well. So if this is what you want to learn in this class, I will encourage you to stay till the end of this tutorial. So here I'm making use of three and a half years of Ankara and two years of original two mesh. Make sure you get original two mesh for this project. So I already have six years of Ankara right here, but I'm going to cut out three and a half years out of it right now. So I'm going to fold my length of Ankara. I'm using 64 inches for the length of my Ankara on fold. So that 64 inches automatically gives you three and a half yards. So I'm going to cut out at 64 inches. So I'm cutting out and I'm going to keep the rest of my fabric for another project or I can use it for head tie. So here you can see me cutting out the SS fabric from the six yards. I'm using only three and a half yards. So after cutting it out, you can see the folded edge of it. I'm going to measure it to be sure I have 64 inches length. So here I have 64 inches length, so I'm going to put it together as you can see. So I'll put it together right away and then I'm going to start marking out my neckline. So here is the center front area. So I'm going to place my tape to take my measurement. So I'm taking my first vertical measurement, which is my hip height. So my hip height is 29. That is from my shoulder to my hip is 29 inches. So I'm going to mark at that 29 inches. This is the only vertical line we need. So here is my hip line. So the neck width is three and a half inches. The neck width is three and a half inches. And the neck depth for the back is two inches. So I'm going to con connect two inches to three and a half inches. Then the neck depth for the front is three and a half inches too. I'm going to connect the three and a half inches depth to the three and a half inches width. That is for the neckline for front and back. Next, you are going to take your shoulder divide by two. Mine is eight inches. Then I'm going to measure eight and a half inches. And then the rest of it, I will just leave it there. So if you measure eight and a half inches, just mark, highlight the line the way I just did right there. So we'll go over to the hip and measure the hip, divide by four. Mine is 12 inches. I added four inches to it. So in total, I have 16 inches. Then I'll take it to the hem. I'll also measure 16 inches, which I got on the hip. So now I'm going to connect a straight line from that 16 inches on the hem. I'll take it towards the hip line. But I'm going to stop on the way. I'll take 5 inches downwards from the hip. That is where my line will get to. So this is just to curve a cow shape. So I'm going to curve the cow shape right now. I'll just take it to the end of the fabric like this. So that is how it's going to look like. So make sure you curve in the shape very well. So next, I just want to take the measurement of what I have. I have six and a half there. So I will just mark that six and a half all the way to the cow shape. 
because I want to get a straight line. So you just go ahead and mark the straight line all the way like that. And you can see it's connected directly to my cow shape. So yours might not be connected, but just mark a straight line like that. So after marking the straight line, we'll go over to the neckline to create the yoke. So from your shoulder, just go down by your bust under bust line my under bust line is 14 inches so whatever your under bust line is mark it and mark your chest line too my chest line is 9 inches and my under bust is 14 inches so these are the two lines i marked 9 and 14 inches from the shoulder so right now on the under bust line i'll come in by one inch so i marked one inch okay so use one inch on fold then on the chest line, I marked two and a half inches. So I'm going to connect those points. So from the center front, I'll connect to the one inch to the two and a half inch. So this is the shape you are going to have. Okay, just highlight it very well. So you are going to place your tape on the chest line and get the midpoint. Okay, you can see how I did it from the chest line to the shoulder, you get the midpoint. Then you are going to measure five and a half inches from the center front. So these lines are going to serve as a guide to us. So I bring in my ruler. I want you to watch how I'm placing my ruler. From the shoulder at eight inches, I will connect to the five and a half inches. And then I will flip my ruler the other way from the five and a half inches to the two and a half inches. So that is how to create that shape. Unless you want to make another shape. So I will just go ahead and highlight it as you can see. So we are going to cut out that part as our yoke. So now the next thing we are going to do is to start cutting the size of the cow. So I cut the size of the cow, but I just thought of extending the cow shape a little bit below or very close to the knee. I really want the cow shape to be prominent. So I'm going to take my measurements again. From that hip line, I'll mark my knee line at 41 inches. So my cow shape will start from 41 inches. So I just want it to start from my knee line directly. So I'll just curve it in at 41 inches like that. Create a beautiful shape to it as well. So now, I'll continue my cutting right now. So that is my knee line. So I'll continue to cut from there like that. So I'll just cut it. So I, I'm cleaning off the first one, okay? So I would like to go with the knee line, the cow at the knee line. So I'll just go ahead and cut it off to the edge of the Ankara like that. So that is how it's going to look like. So now the, the side is ready. But since it has, I'm going to cut the back neckline too, to make it complete. So next is to cut out this line. That is where we are going to attach the yoke. So the yoke, we are using original two mesh, quality two mesh. Please get yourself a quality two mesh. So I'll cut this part off and I'm going to keep it and set it aside. So I'll set it aside. We are going to use a yoke to attach the both of them. Next is to open up the dress. So we'll be able to cut out the front neckline. So here... I've arranged the dress right now, so I'm going to cut out the front neckline. So, but before I do that, this is the shoulder line. I'm going to measure what I have there. I have four and a half inches. So I'm going to mark four and a half inches at the back too, from the neckline at the back. So make sure you mark it accurately so it forms a rounded shape like that. So I'll just curve it this way. As you can see so now I'm going to cut the neckline for the front 
So I'll cut the neckline for the front. So I'm sure the neckline is completed. So now I'm going to make a notch on the shoulder line. Don't forget to make a notch at your shoulder line like that. So after making the notch right now, I'm going to cut out the yoke as well. So we are going to use this yoke from the fabric. That is what we are going to use to cut the two mesh. So I'll just start from the center front and add my seam allowance. Make sure you add half an inch seam allowance. Don't cut on the line. Add half an inch. So if you look very well, you can see I'm adding half an inch, half an inch inwards. That is my seam allowance. So you can see what I have. So I'm also going to make a notch at the shoulder line. These notches are going to guide us as we place our mesh. So the next is to cut out the yoke using the Ankara yoke pattern. So I bring in my mesh right now. The normal way you cut your yoke for bustier and corset. So I'm going to fold my mesh so you can see how I'm folding it. I'll just fold my net like this and make sure the folded edge is at the folded edge. So I place it two times because I want it to have them. Um, I will turn it with another net. So I placed it twice and then I'm going to secure with my pin, then cut and add my seam allowance on the side of the yoke. So make sure you take your time to pin and don't rush this part as making yoke dresses are delicate. So you need to take your time, secure with your pin and then cut out. So after pinning it, I'm going to cut it out. So like I earlier said, don't forget to add your seam allowances. Your seam allowances is half an inch on this side. So I'll just go ahead and add half an inch on this side of the dress accordingly. So after cutting out and adding my seam allowance, I'm going to cut the inner part without seam allowance. So just cut the inner neckline without seam allowance. Then make sure you create your notch at the shoulder line. So I'm going to take up the Ankara pattern and we are going to make use of our yoke right now. So I open it up. And I'm going to secure with my pin all around the neckline. So I'll secure with my pin all around the neckline. And then we'll go over to the machine now to stitch at 0 0.5 inch around the neckline. So you can just use your pin, secure with your pin all around, all around like that. Then you stitch. So after stitching, I'll just cut out the stitches. That is exactly what I'm doing there. Just cut out the stitches just like you do in yoke lines. So here you can see my yoke. So next is to turn it inwards so I can have my front neck dress. So after turning it right now, I'll go over to the ironing table and I'm going to give it a good press. So when you are pressing it down, please use a piece of fabric with your steam iron. So now I'm going to pin the sides because I'll also stitch half an inch to hold the both of them. So here you can see I'm done sewing. Next is to bring back the dress. I'll open up the dress and then I'm going to lay the yoke on top of it like this. So this is how I'm going to lay it. So I'm going to match the notches. That is why we made those notches. 
So you first secure with your pins on the notches on the shoulder line. So I'm placing it on top. You can see how I'm placing it right on top of it. Because we are going to use our applique to cover it up. As you can see in the video. So you pin and then we we'll stitch neatly. So after pinning the shoulder line, you are going to pin the center front line. So you need to align the center front, the center back. Make sure you align them accordingly. Okay, so once they are being aligned like that with your pins, then we can go over to the machine to stitch. So you can see I'm pinning very, very carefully, making sure everything is pinned before I move over to the machine to sew it. So I will take it over to sew right now. So here on my machine, you can see me sewing exactly on the line I stitched before at 0 0.5. So I'm sewing right on top of it. So you can also beat this dress. You can use applique, sewable applique for the decoration. You can bead, you can use sewable. Any, any one of them, of the embellishments is good for this dress. So the one we have on the video looks like it's beaded. So now you can see I've stitched and these are where we are going to bead or add our sewable applique. So the yoke neckline part is ready. So next is to bring back the side. So we are going to attach the yoke to the side of this dress. So the part that we cut out first, that is where we are going to attach. So this is how it was before we cut it out. So all I'm going to do is to cut out a net that will serve as a yoke in between the both of them. So you can see that part is on fold. So I'm going to fold my net as you can see. And I'm going to fold it again as you can see too. Then I will now place it. So if you want to double your net, fine and good. But if you use the original net, no need to double it. So I will place my fabric on top. I will place... I will cut out the same length. So the width of my net is 5 inches. So I'm going to cut out my net. So you can see me adjusting it so I'll be able to cut it out at 5 inches. So the width is 5 inches, including seam allowance. So after cutting it at 5 inches, then when we sew, we'll be having 4 inches left. So I'm going to cut to the end of the net and then I will now separate that part but the upper side has to be on fold so my net was not actually enough so what I did was to add a little more net so you can get two and a half yards of net so you don't need to join like I did so I'm making notches on the shoulder line too on the net part so here you can see what I have right now. So I'm going to attach the net. I will attach it to the Ankara, the part we cut out. So I'm opening it up, making sure I match it right side to right side on the notch parts. So right side to right side on the notch part. Then I'll quickly go over to the machine to stitch. So I'm just trying to arrange it. So whatever I do on this one part of it, that is what I'm going to also do on the other part. So I made notch on the shoulder line so that when joining it, I'm going to join it exactly. So right side to right side, I'll secure with my pin. Then I will go over and join the yoke. So I'll just pin and pin at least the beginning part of it you have to pin it then it will now guide you to this teaching
all right so i'm done stitching this is what i have so i've added it on the straight part of it so this yoke was added on the straight part okay it's going to be added to the straight part so this is what i mean you can see how it is that is how we are going to add the net so after adding that part i'll bring back the dress then we are going to open up the dress so we can attach the net to this one too so i'll bring back the uh, net right side to right side and then i'm going to stitch notch to notch which is the shoulder line also at half an inch all the way down all right so you secure with your pin and you go back to the machine and stitch i will do the same for the other side so this is what i have after i'm done you can see what i got right there and this is what i have on the other side too so next this is the time to sew your sewable applique so get a beautiful sewable applique if possible the color that matches or any desired color so the applique i have here is what i have i don't have any sewable applique but if you have a sewable applique this is the time to cover all the edges all the places that needs to be covered with your appliques and the other one will run this way as you can see right there on the video it will run like that to the back neckline so just look at the video very well when you get your sewable applique just run all the way from the hem to the other hem on the both sides on the sides and on the neckline so next is to put the dress together and mark out the sleeve line so the sleeve opening is 11 inches so i'll mark 11 inches and from 11 inches i'll come in by one and a half inch so from that one and a half inch i'll mark one and a half all the way down then mark half an inch go in by one inch so i'm going to stitch right now and cut off the excess i will repeat the same thing for both sides so i'm cutting off the excess one and a half inch in fact i'm cutting one inch right now then make a notch at the sleeve area and then fold in your sleeve at that point so i'm going to fold it either by stitching or by hemming gum any one of them is good fine and good so i'll repeat the same thing on the other side too so I'm also trimming off the excess one inch and then I'll cover in on the sleeve area, make a notch and fold in my sleeve. So here I'll make a notch at the cow parts. Don't forget to make a notch at the cow parts so it relaxes nice and flat for you. So here I'm done with the sleeve and our dress is ready. So i don't have any much applique so make sure you put all the appliques before you close the dress so we have gradually come to the end of this tutorial so if you have watched up to this moment why not subscribe to this channel we upload videos on this channel every day and you have a lot to learn with us so please share this video like share to family and friends turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this every day so you can see here, I just made a little applique like this. So that is how we come to the end of this tutorial once again. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Thanks for choosing Simrai Fashion Academy YouTube channel and stay with us. Bye.